Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a Toyo 8x10 film holder. Not the usual unboxing, not that exciting, but honestly, uh, 8x10 film holders have been getting really hard to find. I got most of my film holders for $30 to $40 when I started shooting 8x10, but nowadays on eBay, they're selling for like 100 and more. Uh, and they're not always, uh, you know, light tight or light proof, or maybe you don't know what the condition is going to be coming. And not until you shoot a couple sheets, you will find out that they're either broken or, you know, leaking light somewhere or full of dust or sand. I found a lot of holders with sand seems to be a common thing. So yeah, these are new Toyo holders. They're made in Japan. These are brought to you by camerastore.com, which is the store I work uh, with and for. So I just left, wanted to make an unboxing so you guys could find them because they're in stock in Europe pretty much at all times. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, and the price is not ridiculously high compared to other brands. There's two brands that make these nowadays, pretty much Chamonix and Toyo. This is the one made in Japan by the company Toyo, which is, you know, been around for many, many, many years. So let's unbox it. It basically comes in a cardboard little bag or box, sorry, and uh, nothing else in there. Nope. And then we have a cardboard protector. We open them and you have a plastic wrap, which basically would keep the holder clean, which is important from dust, which is the worst enemy for large format. And once we pull out, out of the bag, we would have the film holder, it's all plastic on the sides. It has metallic screws here to keep the ridges on the sides, um, you know, screwed on on both sides. They're actually different screws. This one's flathead and this one's Phillips, which is interesting. Maybe they're female and male on different sides. Then we have the dark slides, which are metallic. At least the edge on the top is metallic. The um, dark slide is actually feels like plastic. Yeah, this is not metallic, which I'm interested. The 4x5R metallic. And then you have uh, the silver side and the black side. And there's no grooves to notice what side is which. You do have these little uh, bites that are like uh, punctured from the metal. So you could notice those and know which side it is by that, but there's no grooves. Then we have the lip, which basically lets you load the film. There's a little cutout for pulling out the film and it's new. So as you can see, it's very nice and tight. And you have also the space for the notes. You would write whatever film stock you have, uh, brand and film stock or exposure, or you want to give them numbers. A lot of people number the film holders. So they'd be like one, two, three or A, B, C. So they can do the zone system. And these are dual uh, film holders. So you get, you know, two sheets of film, double film holders. And yeah, they basically are made brand new in Japan. And as I said, they're being stocked in Europe by Camera Store. So yeah, this video is not sponsored by Camera Store in any way, but you know, I work there and I thought it'd be cool to show you guys as these are not so common and easy to find uh, at this time. And a lot of people are jumping into eight by 10 with the help of Intrepid uh, maybe not so much Chamonix because the camera is quite expensive. Uh, Keith Canham and other manufacturers that have been making 8x10 cameras. It's the, one of the new hypes thanks to mostly I would say Intrepid nowadays. But yeah, uh, nice film holder. You get one unit. It doesn't come two in a box like the 4x5. They are hefty. I wouldn't say super heavy, but these will add up if you have five or six in your backpack. But yeah, that's all for the unboxing of the Toyo uh, cut film holder. 8x10. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.